Race is an issue that I believe this nation cannot afford to ignore right now. We would be making the same mistake that Reverend Wright made in his offending sermons about America, to simplify and stereotype and amplify the negative to the point that it distorts reality. The fact is that the comments that have been made and the issues that have surfaced over the last few weeks reflect the complexities of race in this country that we've never really worked through, a part of our union that we have not yet made perfect. Racism is the belief that a particular race is superior or inferior to another. Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. Racism makes a lot of differences. The most different races should remain segregated and apart from one another. We are the victims of racism. You look, man, the nation of Islam. We've been in existence for around 70 years. We're supposed to be the new racist. This body that you see standing before you, we're the racist. Racism has existed throughout human history. It may be defined as the hatred of one person by another. The belief that another person is less than human because of skin color, language, and customs. Stopping us from abusing our women and our children. Teach, teach. Teaching us to put down weapons, put down knives, put down guns, to stay and become intelligent human beings. It has influenced towards slavery, the formation of nations, and legal courts. One important feature of racism, especially towards blacks and immigrant groups, especially victims of racism are often considered morally degraded. If we want to analyze the reasons that racism still exists, we found that lack of awareness, mass media and popular culture, stratification of society, demarcation among nations, and internistic human nature. Do you see racism in your daily life? Every day. Every day. Every day. Do I see racism in my life? Um, I see it every day. Every day. I see racism in my daily life almost every place. In my daily life. Do you see racism in your daily life? Yeah, a lot. A lot? Yes. It's still here. It's still here. It's still here. I see racism in my daily life um, pretty much typically every day, you know. You see it every day. Like if, if you walk into a company and you're the only black person there, or you're the only Asian, or the only gay person there. Logically, racism has many effects. One of them, that can prevent members of certain group from feeling like equal and valid members of society. Racism can prevent people from having equal chances to better their lives. Racism can have negative effects on an individual, physical and mental health. Racism is wrong because it causes many people sadness. Acts of racism have got out of hand in the past. So, if you think that uh, racism is a joke, just stop thinking before you go. If you really believe that racism is very bad, make sure that you will stop it. Because it's the enemy of freedom. Next. <laughs> Mass media and popular culture. <laughs> 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 <laughs>